Originally, um, when we started with David, we were importing kegs from um, from Strasbourg or Schiltingheim. Just some innovation on drawn on the back of a beer mat over a beer one night. Um, we came up with this possibility of using a 30 litre keg as a carrier. We needed to not um, interfere with the OPI of the filling line. We needed to try, if, if possible, not have a product changeover. Because it's in the middle of our 50 litre or 30 litre production, you can have a 50 litre keg coming to the filler immediately followed by a 20 litre keg immediately followed by a 50 litre keg. It's very important that the sensing is right and at all stages in the process, the process knows exactly what size keg it's dealing with. We were aware that in Schiltingheim they were using a robot uh, for handling kegs and we took a team over consisting again of some of the design team, team lead, some of the operators in the wreck and hole, and we, we, went to, we went to Schiltingheim. A good measure for the success of a project is when you don't hear about it afterwards. And it's music to my ears when nobody speaks about the David project. The final solution has got to be to get the sensors that are on the sides of the kegs, the proximity sensors built into the kegs, sensing 100% of the time. And I think when we can get that problem resolved and when we can get the pallets resolved, only then would I be able to say, yeah, I think now we can, we can take that off as a 100% success.